Hello everybody, and we are again looking at an image painted by Velázquez, one of the greatest old masters, who was born in Seville, Spain in 1599. He died in 1660 at the age of 61, but this image was painted during his early period. And around this time he painted bodegas, which are scenes of everyday life. And he was also married to Juana Pachecho, who was the daughter of his Spanish teacher, Francisco Pachecho. The couple had two children, although the youngest one died in infancy. And later on in Velazquez's career, he would visit Rome on the encouragement of Peter Paul Rubens, who was a Baroque painter who was also an ambassador. And Velazquez painted the image you just saw here with three musicians before his trip to Italy. And so there's not a lot of depth or soft modeling that is characteristic of Italian Baroque paintings. And here's just a picture of Velazquez was born in Seville, Spain, and I'm sure it's a whole designated site now. And now here is a painting we're going to be looking at in depth with three musicians. And in my opinion, this painting doesn't really have the technical mastery that is present in Velazquez's later court portraits or mythological scenes. For example, the faces of the subjects are less blended and natural. The image depicts two men singing while one of the young boys glancing out at the viewer with an instrument. And I thought it might be the hurdy-gurdy, I don't really know what instrument it is. The boy's kind of careless glance and really invites the viewer into the scene and it's very merry and gleeful. It's almost as if the boy is entreating the viewer to join in at the party, you know, join in at the revelry and merriment. The interior scene isn't really monumental or grandiose, it's just normal people having fun at a party. And elements usually shown in a Dutch Baroque still life are also here as well. For example, the luminous bread, which I thought was similar to Dolly's Baskin bread painting. There's also cheese with a knife sticking out of it, the glass of wine. They're all depicted very realistically. Here's an example of a still life by Cotan, who was a fellow Spanish painter. And again, you can see the obvious here depicted very naturalistically and very realistically as well, with the Baroque aspects of the very dark background and lighter subjects. Now, Velázquez had not yet moved to Madrid, which is now the capital of Spain, to become court painter to Philip IV. He was well known within Seville, but his more international reputation still had to be developed. And the other notable aspect of this painting is the man in the center singing his mouth gaping open. I thought this detail was incredibly cool because the realistic facial muscles and the body movements illustrate the fact that Velázquez had real life models or at least had seen them together and he's also an accomplished bodega painter. The lighting in Three Musicians is also very baroque. You can see the soft chiaroscuro which stems from the influence of Caravaggio. Although Velázquez had not yet seen Caravaggio in real life because he hadn't been to Italy yet. And besides the chiaroscuro, which is contrast of light and dark, the naturalism and split-second motions of the subject are broke as well. The viewer is supposed to participate in the action of the painting. You can see the boy beckoning us into the scene. And the tones are dominantly brown and dark yellow, which only serves to enhance the chiaroscuro, and also the financial situation of the singers. They're most likely not wealthy, and I thought brown was kind of a symbol for poverty. And also, I'd like to point out the monkey in the bottom left of the painting. And although I'm not completely sure what it's doing there, Velasquez could have inserted the animal because it was synonymous with bars, good times, or peasant fun. I'm not really quite sure why it's there, but this painting, The Three Musicians, is currently hanging in a museum in Berlin. And this image coming up here is Sunday on the Grand Josh by Seurat. And again, I included this because there's a monkey in the bottom right hand corner. I don't know, just finding similarities between different art periods in Seurat painting this in 1885. And next is another example of a bodega painting. This is Old Woman Frying Eggs that Velasquez painted in 1618. This is two years after Three Musicians. He had more training and I can definitely see that this image is more naturalistic and more characteristically Baroque. You can see the very dark background and the lighter subjects that are handled very carefully and very meticulously. So, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have you ever felt too young to write about the world or what you're interested in? Are you burning with curiosity about the different cultures in the world? 
that are completely foreign from yours. 